Hello and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. No, I so said we were not, we're not calling it that. In today's episode, we're going to be cracking into an entire booster box from the Astral Radiance Collection. Which just dropped, and here's how it's going to work, especially at least for this first episode. We have randomly selected from all of our patrons over here on Super Carlin Gaming 36 names. There are 36 packs in this box, and we are going to choose a name out of that box over there, which you can't see, and then open a pack. And whatever is in that pack, that person gets that pack. What? It's amazing. I'm actually very excited about it. But there's more because whatever the dollar value is of that card, you will earn that many points. And at the end of the episode, we will have a winner for whoever got the most points. And then on an ongoing basis, as we continue the series, we will also have a leaderboard to keep track of which person has collected the most points. Right. So even if you don't have a lot of points in this episode, over the course of the next month, you might accrue points and be the grand winner. If you would like to sign up for a future episode and have your pack of cards be opened, you can head on over to Patreon dot com slash super carlin gaming and select the box breakers tier right moving forward we won't be doing randomly selected patrons we will be using patrons who have signed up for the box breaker tier it's not complicated at all no and if it doesn't make any sense and it sounds confusing don't worry it'll make sense real fast let's break into this box all right this is always my favorite part is they have these little slide ups you ready you ready so leave it forward facing. Okay, there we go. Oh, there it and it's like it's like you can go like this because if you're like a casual card shop owner, you might display the box and be like, "Yeah, hey, it's like Pokemon." But then if you push even further, it's like because I'm adventurous. Whoa, you know what I mean? I did not know you could do it again. Really? Maybe I did. So I, I just know. taught you a new thing. Yeah. Wow. See, so there's there's two tiers to it. Standard, boring, also fine. But playful and fun. Yeah. Very cool. We're very playful. All right. So our first patron is Dakota. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Box breaker pack number one ever. Let's see how many points Dakota is going to get. Do you know the trick for opening the packs? I'm familiar. I'm, I, I know the old, the old set the code card. You got to do that. And then you one, one, two, two three, four. four. Cool. Yep. This is the card you're going to get. Now, what's interesting is that some packs will have two stars in that. If it has a star on the bottom left, that means it is the rare card. The rare card is what will determine your points. But if you get two stars in a pack, you get two sets of points. Double the points. So let's see how Dakota does. All right. Discard the energy. Discard the energy. All right, this is not a rare, but this is the reverse hollow. The rare is Arcanine. Arcanine. Boom. Brings us in at a whopping 13 cents. Rounds up to one point. Hey! Congratulations, Dakota. Patron number next is going to be Stacy. Stacy. All right. Do the honors. Let's see how Stacy does. I feel like there's an art to opening these things. We'll just get better at it as time goes on. And. Oh, Vespaquin. Vespaquin. Seven cents. Wow. All right. Wow. Yeah. We're... Also one point. So we're off to a roaring sprint out of the gate. If any, I mean, tell. but it's kind of exciting to see that it's immediately neck and neck. It is know? immediately neck and neck. Is there a specific card that you can tell us is the most valuable, would be the highest points you can earn per the box? I most certainly can. I most okay. certainly can. The current high value card is a Machamp alternate art. It's number 172 out of 189, and it is currently worth $116.90. So way more than one point. So if somebody pulls that, yes, then they, they will they will take a strong lead. They will take a strong lead, but that only gives you the lead for this week. You can always drag it back in in subsequent weeks. Exactly. Exactly. It's really, who can have the longest streak of good pulls? Next up, Emerald Phoenix. All right, we have a pure ugly. What's the big card? Flourish! Hey! hey! And Emerald is going to be on the board with more than one point for sure with Dark Rai V, which is also a very competitive card. Oh, let's see. Number 98 here is going to put us at $3.25. So a whopping four points goes to Emerald, and he hops atop that leaderboard. Wow, congrats to Emerald. Up next is going to be Patron 0412. Unique name, honestly. Do you think is. last name was 12, and then from there they just really stuck with like the number theme? Right. I mean, if your last name is already a number, you may as well 
just go full numbers for first and middle as well. You might as well. Yeah. You might as well. All right. All right. Can zero for 12 go for more than 12? Ooh. Ooh, the Reggie Drago. I'm betting that's just a single dollar, single point pack. In fact, coming in at a whopping 22 cents. Wow, look at that. See, this is how the rounding really helps you. You can get a seven cent card or a 90 cent card, and you still get one point. Really, it's to your benefit at this point just to get like a one cent card. You oh, know? it's true. Yeah, right? then you're getting the most bang for you're your buck. You're getting the most bang wise. for your buck. The least bang for your buck, value less. Next up, we have Annalise, Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt. Oh boy, long time patron on the channel. Good to see that she made the cut. Made the cut. But can't she take the lead? It's only a four point lead at this point. I know, it's very close, neck and neck still. What you got, Annalise, what you got? Uh oh, I see something. She's got something uh -oh. there. This might be our first double star. Are you ready? Yeah, for sure. Boom. Oh yeah, we have the Galarian Moltres V from the Trainer Gallery and the Vespa Grin. So we know that one's worth a point, but what is the Moltres V worth? Let's see, what number is that? Number... Okay, turns out the Trainer Gallery cards were on a separate list, so we had to look that up. But the Galarian Moltres V is worth 15 points for Dr. Brandt, plus her Vespa Grin, bringing her total to 16. Very impressive. Nice That's a done. solid set of pulls. And into the lead. And into the lead. Next up, Lacey Nielsen. The very not lazy Lacey. Hey. Floors. Oh, Ooh, the hey. Starmy V. Starmy V. $1.35. There you go. Starmy. That's surprising that it's a V card, but still only gets her, what, two points then? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So two points for Lacey. Right. So this is an interesting situation, too, because Starmie, whilst a V card, this is actually one of three Starmie Vs you can pull from this set. There's this one, there's the Full Art Starmie, and then there's the Trainer Gallery Starmie. And that one is actually going to be worth quite a lot. We have not pulled it out of any of the boxes we've pulled so far, which I feel like makes the odds higher on this one. It'd be really cool to get that. That here. would be extremely exciting. Yeah. Next up, Mots for ruling. Mots. Boom. Let's see what you got, Mots. Let's see what I got for you in this pack, buddy. Ooh. Oh, okay, so this is actually the reverse hollow and a star, so Mats is gonna get two cards worth of points. Let's see what the back card is, though. The Hisuian Basque Legion. So I'm betting this is uh, gonna total a solid two points if I had to guess. Eight cents. Mm -hmm. And 44. Five cents. There you go. So Mott's probably benefiting the most from the rounding at this point because probably the worst pack value-wise, but still two points. Also, this is gonna be something else we should bring up. You'll notice that this one is a reverse hollow, like it's got that on there. Uh, reverse hollows are harder to pull than regular hollows, but we are not gonna be taking that into account. You're just gonna get the number at the bottom. It really doesn't affect it that much, but just so you know, in case you're wondering. Rachel Pierce, what do you got for her, Ben? All right, let's see, Rachel. More than Mott's, I hope. Although Mats isn't even in last, he's got two points. Oh, Ooh. got another trainer gallery for Rachel with the Gardevoir <gasps> and the Mighty Anna. So another double rare pull. $1.46 on this guy, and which gives you two points. And then 96 is 16 cents. There you go. So that's going to be two, two points for the Gardevoir, one for the Mighty Anna, three points overall for Rachel. Well done. Not in last. <laughs> Worth noting as well that we're getting these point values based on the uh, price guide on TCG Player. Dot com. They have the price guide for every card in the set, but we are aware that those prices are very subject to change, even on a daily basis. So all points will be judged based on today, June 16th's price guide values. Next up, oh, now this is a fan favorite, Ben. Flying Spaghetti Classic. Wow, I can already hear the cheers from the crowd. Let's see what we've got for Flying Spag. Last name Spaghetti, first name Flying. Yep. The pasta masta. All right, so first of all, we have the rare star toga kiss. So we're gonna have another double card here, but just the Hisuian over quill. So it's looking like another two point round. All right, toga kiss comes in at 24 cents and a whopping uh, six cents. <laughs> there you go. Another two points for flying spaghetti and the crowd is upset. You can hear them groan, but there's always next time flying spaghetti. There's always next time. Next up we have Robbie Cruz. Do you have any thoughts on pulling from the front, the back, the middle? I've just been going from the front the entire time, but I don't think, I mean, it's just, I think that's just another element of randomness that we can throw into the game. Oh, the Leafeon. Leaf I think we have another one point pack bed. 10 cents for the Ten old Leafeon. There you go. Wow, that might be that might be Robbie might have just slid into last place there, but now we got Green Boy. 
I'm going from the front for Green Boy. Ooh. Feels like a good spot. The other thing it's worth mentioning is that within any booster box, there are typically eight or nine full art cards that can be pulled. Yeah, this one is a little bit better because there's the trainer gallery in there, right. which can replace that reverse hollow slot. Otherwise, there's always a reverse hollow in a pack, but sometimes in certain sets, they'll get replaced by trainer gallery cards. So that that's really what you want. You want a trainer gallery plus another rare card. That's really gonna how you're gonna get ahead in this one. So there's our reverse hollow, and then boom, the Hisuian Braviary. You gotta think, there's no holographic on it. It's gonna be a one pointer. The big question with any of these, whenever you have something that's not holographic, is whether or not it is competitive in play. Right. Seven cents, one point. All right, Ben, you've got Bryant Ward. All right, Bryant, I'm going middle of the back. Wow. Yeah, there we go. This could be the one. Feels a little heavy. Alt Machamp incoming. Feels, feels a little heavy. <laughs> the oh. Reginald Rock. Reg I thought it was it was heavy maybe because it's a Reggie Rock. There you go. So the cool thing about the Reggies in this particular set is that they are actually really affordable, but also very competitive. A uh, a Reginald a Reggie Gigas deck just won a huge tournament over in Japan over the past week. Worth one point here today, though. Yeah, that's not going to win you any tournaments over here. Tell you what, maybe Jacqueline R will fare better. Let's go, Jackie. What you got? What you got? The Bergmite, nothing but <sighs> Reginald Ice, Ben. Also not much. I'm going to give that a single point over to Jackie. Another crowd favorite, you have to think, Luma Berry Cream. Luma Berry Cream coming from the back this time. Lucky number back. Whoosh. Okay, so this is our first just regular regular holographic uh, card. So it's possible this is worth more than a single dollar, but I'm betting not more than like two or three. 20 cents. 20 cents. I stand corrected. Keldeo gets you a single dollar, but at least it's holographic. Shimmer, shimmer. Back in our day, that's all you got. I know. <laughs> the crazy thing is that, yeah, when we were kids, if you pulled a card that looked like that, it was like heaven had shined upon you right. that even, day. Even to this day, the most valuable Pokemon card that exists is just the, for, uh, the first edition Charizard card. Yes. And it's just standard hollow. Standard hollow. All right, next up we have Michelle McKell. Well, that is a fun name to say. Michelle McKell. I would say that we're gearing up for a very like competitive back half of the I think so. Because it is unusual to go this far without getting like more than we've gotten so far. <laughs> so it's either a, it's either a, a sad box or else we've just picked bad packs. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Are you ready? Boom, there we go. We at least have the, the trainer gallery of Bomb of Snow and oh, the Typhlosion. So this Ooh. is a real opportunity for Michelle McHale to take the lead because we have the double rare, double full art. This is what you want. Now, who's in the lead? Uh, Dr. Brandt at 16, 16 points, points at the moment? So, okay, so the Let's see. Typhlosion's gonna get you two points. The two points for the Typhlosion, so not that much. Trainer Gallery one. Trainer Gallery number one comes in at 80 cents. 80 cents, oh no! Man, I love wow. I love this art though. It's a beautiful card. Boy, so that is unfortunate for Michelle McKell to get two full art rare cards and only walk away with three points, but they'll be coming to you in the mail. Either way, enjoy. Spencer. Spencer! Gonna go... See from the back. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's following along and they're like, no, 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 don't pick that one. Oh, I know. Don't you, pick that one. You know some of them are going to. So I think probably what we should do moving forward, if we're picking a complete random every time, it might not matter. If we pick in a certain order, we should probably shuffle the cards just to make sure that. Ah, that's a good you know, point. There's no discrepancy between pack order versus card order. All right, Spencer, let's see what we got for you here. Try to pull you something solid. <sighs> Oh. Reginald Ice, but I think you might have a second rare with Gallade. We here. do have a Gallade rare. Let's so see. we're looking so at at least two points. 37 is going to come in at exactly, yeah, 21 cents. So it gives you one point. 28 cents. There you go. Two points for Spencer. Next up, Athena. Goddess of Wisdom, right? 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 Well, we'll see if it was a wise choice to pick this pack. Yes, okay. 
Confirmed. I read Percy Jackson recently. You can tell. One of the main characters isn't one of their daughters or anything. It's cool. Oh, Ooh. well, now, it's only a reverse hollow Scyther, but Scyther is the best Pokemon ever, as per me, so that's a pretty good pull right there. But anyway, the rare is the Deancey. So that is a fairly competitive card as of last week, and I doubt it's going to register more than about one or two points, however. Though. Let's see, though, how we did here. It's always fun. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is always fun. So it's 278. Okay. Brings you in a solid three points. It's always fun to me when there is a card that has that competitive play angle to it that gives it like the few dollars. That gives it the boost, yeah. right. It's that, like like the little underdog that could. Right, yeah. So this was uh, part of the winning deck in the Melbourne Australian Regionals this past weekend. So that is uh, boosting its value this week for sure. <laughs> Next up we have Nikki Fugel. All right, Nikki, going from the middle for you. Togepi. Mm, oh, Reginald Drago. Mean. It was bold of them to name all all the kids Reginald. It really was. Yeah. That comes in at a whopping 22 cents. That's gonna get you one point. One point. See how cheaply you can build the Reggie deck, though? I know. I know. That's what I've been saying for weeks now. Right? You can take down Mew with that, man. All right. Next up, we got Donald. Probably Duck, but it says Cope. We'll see. Let's see if Donald brought his uh, Scrooge McDuck luck. All right. Well, we at least have two star cards. We have the Miss Magus. That is number... I can't even read it. 59. And... Ah, the Shaman, number 14. 59 comes in at a five cent spot. Wow. And 14 is going to come in at eight cents. There so. you go. So we might have a new uh, lowest value total there, but still two points. So you're getting some real like um, electoral college math happening here. <laughs> All right, next up, Monique East. All right, Monique. We'll go off the front. We'll go off the front. Every once in a while, we should. I sat next to Monique for an entire year in fifth grade. This Monique? This Monique, probably. Probably. If I How had many guess, can there be? I mean, yeah, like, really, there's just the one. Oh, Ooh. first Radiant card. Bam. This That's just... exciting. These these are new to this particular set, right? Yes, Radiant. Uh, the Radiant cards are a new card mechanic. You can only have a single Radiant card of any description in your deck. So that's pretty fun. Radiant Greninja is easily the best one as well. These are not super uncommon to pull, but uh, the competitive viability of this card might boost its value. What do we have for Radiant Greninja at okay. 46? Comes in at 268. That's so good for three points. Three points. And, and then, then, then the Miss Magus, I think it was like eight cents. So that's four points. Next up, we have Diana, Holly. I'm gonna go from the front too. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, did I see a shimmer? Did I see a shimmer? Maybe Ooh. not. We have the Leafeon. That's a star, so we're gonna get at least two points out of this pack. And uh, the Feeble, That's that feels like it's gonna be like worth one cent or something. It does, it, it does. does. But right, that'll see. still get you a full point, so let's see. <laughs> Feeble comes in at four cents. Four cents, oh no! And the Leafeon. Uh, it is reverse hollow, but of course that doesn't matter. Is 10 cents. Is 10 cents. So there you go. Two points for Diana. Better luck next time. All right. Next up is Abby Monden. I'm going. I took from your side. Ooh. Yeah. That could be lucky. Abby. It, or it could be unlucky. Who's to say? We're gonna, it'll be interesting to see if people like choose sides oh, you know what i mean like no right. no pull from the i want ben to open the pack right, right. he's got the hot hand three from the back please yeah here we go so oh. nothing the mighty anna non-hollow i can almost guarantee you that's a single point for abby a single point but that's okay at least you're on the board you're on the board and the fact that we're all here together as dear friends is really all that matters right Afro Punk. Afro Punk. It feels like a winning name. It does. It does. All right. Ooh, look at the shine. Look at uh -oh, the shine. There's something. The Zisu. Zisu. The full art trainer. Is that our first full art trainer for the box? I believe so. So 189 is. is our number there, which is going to drop us through. Hang on one second, please. 402. So 402. with the roundup, that's a quality five points right also, there. Also, we need to look up the 132 because the Braviary has got a, is a rare as well. Okay. So 132. Let me give it a, <laughs> let me do, give it a gander in my note section here. Seven cents. Seven, Seven cents. Seven cents of six points six across points the total. board. Eduardo Bravo. Bravo. Take it from my side this time. Last of your side was very lucky. Well, I don't know. I did pretty good. If yeah, <laughs> full art. Full art Zisu. Yeah. I mean, you know, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. There's so it's so exciting when you see that silhouette just peeking around. I know, right? There. You know it's there. Get rid of the code card. Let's see if it's a big Bravo for Bravo here. <gasps> oh. 
the gold Jubilife Village. This is actually, Ben and I have opened a lot of boxes from this set. We oh have not gosh. pulled the gold Jubilife yet. So this is a unique pull just for us. But of course, we will get to keep it. This is going straight to Eduardo Bravo. And will he take the lead with that? I bet he does. Not quite. At no. 973. 973. That is an absolutely gorgeous Good for card. 10. Man. Woo. It's there's there's something about having like a deck full like your your total place at being like all the gold trainers. It is fun listening to uh, like the live stream of like regional tournaments because sometimes like the top players will play like with very humble decks like lowest rarity of all the cards and the commentators would be like and of course he's playing with like the the low rarity such a humble player and then other people would be like max rarity and like you love to see max rarity in a deck so right it's like it's you just like there's no both, wrong answer both perspectives yeah, <laughs> yeah i get it very fun i i personally i'm one for max bling there you, know? you go yeah. there you go. so you'd play this card <laughs> i would play the card yeah because a lot of, i'm not into the reselling as much myself or anything so you just like you want it you want to use it i want people to be like whoa this guy's serious Yes, there he's got go. Max Bling. All right, Karen Choi, Ben. Let's Karen see can, Choi. Let's see if Karen. you can outdo Gold Jubilife. I got yeah. you, Karen. I got you, Karen. Oh, oh is it a double star, though? It is a double star. It is so. a double star, so we're looking at at least two points and probably no more than that. It's possible the Hisui and Samurott is a little more sought after, but I'm thinking probably not so much. So it's it's what I like to call like a high quality, low quality card yeah. in terms of value. So 40 cents. 40 cents. So not bad, not All bad. All right, and the cleaver. And the cleaver at uh, number 85. Almost definitely. To be nine cents. A good nine cents. A good so nine cents. Again, again, if you get the low cent value, you get a high point value because you make up a lot of ground in that regard. But... Not gonna cut it. Not gonna cut it, Karen. K Green. My side. Did really good now. Oh yeah, I know. Got the gold Jubilife. Just the holographic bathudon. So yes, holographic, just the bathudon is in question four points. Let's see. That is number one ten. Number and that's it. It's gonna give us a whopping 19 cents. A whopping 19 cents. Good for one point. Good job, K. Hugo Rodriguez. Hugo! Hugo, a character from Lost. Yeah, he's the big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hugo. Hugo. I love him. Yeah, he's fantastic. And lucky. Yes, he's got the numbers. <sighs> Boom. Hey! Oh, Galarian Mr. Ram V. Along with the Hisuian Lilligant, also a star. So okay, okay. probably, as we've seen, good for a point either way. But Galarian Mr. Rhyme, that's a tricky one. I'm not sure if it's very competitively viable and it's like low rarity. Okay, okay, so 24 cents on the Lilligant. Okay. So it gets you gets your, your go-ahead point, and then, let's see here, number 49, 71 cents. 71 cents. So despite getting a actual V card in there, this is this is almost like a low-value card because it's like, it's it's almost a dollar. If you could yeah. tip over the $1 mark, you would... Uh, get that whole extra you'd, point. Of course, get that whole extra point. I right know. Mm, that's tough. Either way, fun pull, fun pull. Next up, we have Gregory Lee. Gregory Lee. Gregory Lee. He's very Gregory Lee. Gregory Lee. Gregory Lee. Got the Mighty Edna, so that's another rare. And whoo, oh, the Registeel. Registeel. I think we can already confirm that's a simple two points for you right yeah, there. Well, Thanks for playing either which way. All right, man. What do you got for James Buzanel? Buzanel. Buzanel. That is exciting when you're like going through and you can like see the shimmer around the edge and it's like, oh know, boy. You caught wind of it back this there. This is something. Oh, hang on. It must oh, be out of order. There must, no, there's two. This is going to be a trainer gallery. All right. You ready? Yeah. <sighs> Boom. Oh, oh, the gold Shadow Rider Calyrax and, and a Braviary. A Braviary. So we know okay. that's one point, but what is the gold Calyrax? All right. So that's, that is from the trainer gallery number 30. Yeah. That is. I mean, if nothing else, just a beautiful card. This is like, I think the fifth version of this card you can own. Comes in at a whopping $3.05. $3.05. $3 That's good for four points four plus points. the Braviary. Five points. Good job, James. All right. Luxpa 92. I've, now we've gotten through some good pulls for sure. We have gotten through some good pulls. Doesn't we've mean seen, there's not more to be had. We've seen some things that have been that have been mighty sparkly. I'm really in it for the sparkles when it comes down to it. Absolutely. Nothing better than a good sparkle card. Oh, we got a Ooh, Radiant okay. Halucha in there. 
That is 81 out of 189. And the Braviary again. It's like three out of the last five packs have had the Braviary. That is disappointing. That is like a troll. 93 cents. So close to getting the extra point. But alas, another two point pack. That's all right. You're on the board. Jade Culture. Jade Culture. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Reginald Gigas. There we go. Leader of the Reggies. Weirdly competitive deck. It is a very unusual one. You can basically only run the Reggie cards in it, and you need all six of them on the field at the same time. But once it's going, it's very scary, for it, sure. Uh, for like a standard hollow rare, that comes in at $1.89. That's, that's a, two points. That's two points right there. That is solid. Netherfield? Netherfield. Netherfield. Wouldn't it be great if Netherfield got like a field card? Oh, that like would gold, be great. Like gold yeah. pass to the peak yeah. or something. Very like true to name. Right, yeah. True to form. Oh, I do see something back uh -oh. there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ready? Shaboosh, the Hisuian Lilligant. Base rarity for the V, but could still be a couple points. Okay, okay, let's see how we do it at card number 17. Dollar 43. Dollar 43, that gets you two points. Aiden. All right, boom, boom. Glaceon, so that's a star, and okay. Ursa Luna. I'm not sure we've seen one of those yet, but uh, still almost guaranteed less than a dollar. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. So the Glaceon's nine cents, which is disappointing because Glaceon is just such a very cool Pokemon. Um, and then we got number 124 here, which comes in a whopping 10 cents. Two points. Two points. Put them on the board. Put them on the board, Aiden. All right. Brant Classen. Brant. So Other Do Brant. Dr. Brant is currently in first. In first place. But now we have a different Brant. Spelled differently, but still. Still. Wouldn't it, it be so funny if it was the Battle of the Brants? It feels like friendly rivals. It does. It feels like friendly rivals. If not hated rivals. Whoa. Man, things just got tense. Things did just get tense. I didn't expect that to get thrown down. Hey. We're just Call it like I see it, Ben. Right, 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 right. Well, I mean, yeah, there's that. Ready? Ready. Flourish! Oh, oh the Registeel. It is a double star pack, but I'm afraid it's a single two points. Yeah, look at that. Single, single one points. Two points total. Two points total. Dr. Brandt takes board. round one in the Battle of the Brants. Oh, next up, Dola. Dola. The big hitter. Probably. We'll see. Oh, oh, the red eyes. Oh, sadly, no. We've uh, we've opened a few red eyes thus far. That's gonna be yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a good point yeah, for that's you a, there. That's Dola. a good twenty-one cents time. for that red eyes. Uh oh. All right, but have we saved the best for last? Could it be? Could it be lucky that, number last? Lucky number last for Kimberly Lee. Ooh, Kimberly. Com Kimberly Lee. Kimberly. It's all the pronunciation. It's kind of like how you're J. And not Jay. Sure. You know? But there are two Lees. No, I know. Okay. I just like Kimberly. Kimberly. Lee. Lee. Best for last, or will Dr. Brent take the first box? Let's see here. Ooh, the dark patch. And oh, oh another Reginald Reginald Rock, Rock for the finish. Sadly, that's going to be one point for you. Kimberly. Sing. Wow. Lee. Well, we almost, we, oh, you know what? We almost went out with a bang. We, oh, yeah. we almost, <laughs> almost went out with the bang. If, if it had just been thing. a different card, things would have gone different. If it had only been a very rare card, it could have been a whole different story. I know, I know, I know. Now, now I am officially holding out hope for the episode where the rarest card we pull is the last card we pull. Oh, because that's got to happen. You know, we're just going to go straight, straight ballistic. Especially if we're just pulling a complete random. Who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen? This box has been broken. Welcome to the leaderboard, friends. We had a tremendous first week of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers with a couple of strong breakaways that tore away from the pack, pun intended. Dr. Brandt sitting steady at the top spot with 16 points after pulling a Galarian Moltres. And that gold Jubilife City was a big pull for Mr. Bravo. Off the leaders was a tight chase group involving Afropunk, Emerald Phoenix, and Monique of the East. The guys held off the rest of the leaderboard who filtered in alongside the Peloton, a truly tremendous first week, but I have a feeling this group is just getting warmed up. Okay, guys, well, I am absolutely certain that Dr. Brandt will be here again to 
top this leaderboard. Today's episode was truly intended to give you an idea of what the format will look like. Right, so moving forward, we'll likely have a different pool of 36 people, but if you want to be in that pool, there are limited slots available right now over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Just head over to the box breakers tier. There are 36 packs per box. We are willing to do up to four of these episodes a month, meaning there are 144 slots available uh, to get in on this tier. But as ever, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to let us know what you think of the new show in the towel section down below. Until next time. Bye. bye.